Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm Danielle. And together we're Our Time of the Month. And one of you submitted a really great idea and we took your advice and we are filming a video about products that we've influenced the other to buy. Hashtag influence. Hashtag influenced. We're not influencers, but we have influenced each other. And we're easily influenced by yeah. a lot of people. Yes. Yeah. But more, I, like the thing I was thinking when I was going around gathering these items was I just need to clarify, pretty much everything I own has in some way been influenced by Danielle. When we do go shopping, we're usually buying sometimes the same thing. Yes, I was th I was trying to find all the stuff that we owned the same. And we try not to do it, but it just happens. Well, even today, like, we're on a brown tone train, yep. but we didn't coordinate at all. Nope, we never do. It just, it just happens. It's just, just how it just works. just happens. Champions! We have this, we have very similar taste in some things and then very opposite taste in others. Yes. Caitlin would never be influenced by my footwear. Uh, yeah, I was going to say shoes. We disagree <laughs> vastly on most shoes. Yes. Although we own the same pair of shoes too. That's true. Yeah, it's strange. Uh, so as always, we're starting with a cocktail. This beer has been gifted to us by Duke Club Brewing Company. We've talked about them so much, you know we love them. And this is the Patriarchy Chocolate Dipped Pretzel. I think it's a stout. Yeah, it says it's brewed with cacao nibs, cacao powder, Tahitian ground vanilla bean, and pink hillamin, hillamin, hillamin sea salt. Hillamin sea salt. <laughs> Himalayan sea salt. It smells salty. No, 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 no. It's not as chocolatey or as salty as I thought. It, to me, I don't. I would never drink this and be like, "This feels like, tastes like." They put chocolate dipped pretzels in here. It's a great stout. I just don't get the pretzel note. Yeah, I will say it's on the sweeter Spend side of a stout. Mm -hmm. um, I like it. I like a stout. I like a dark beer. Like as the days get shorter, I like a darker beer. Yeah. If you're curious about anything that we're wearing, oh. whether it's like our lipstick or anything that we're wearing that is available still, it's always linked in the description box. Yes, Dan I, Danielle puts in a lot of time and effort. I even go to Poshmark if it's something that is no longer for sale. Yeah, she puts in a lot of time and effort. Please check the description box. If you first checked there and do not find it, then you may message us. Right, because usually it's like if it's not there, like if, if my top isn't there, it's because it doesn't exist on the internet anymore because it's old. Yeah, because we're not buying stuff. No, you know what no one's sending us? Clothes. But uh, yeah, I could use some more tops. If any clothing companies wants to send me tops to film in, I would be more than happy to accept those. Same, I also would love that. The first thing is a wet brush. Uh, Danielle started using these a couple years ago and I think I just borrowed one while I was over here. There's so much hair in it. <laughs> Don't look at it. I'm like worried it's gonna like fall in our beers. But, um, and I will say since I started using them and I, since I saw Danielle started using them, they're everywhere. Yeah. Like before you could only find them in a couple places, but now you can find them at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, everywhere online. I do really like the wet brush. Uh, I do find though that eventually the little, um, bristles start to pull out and then they get stuck in my hair and I end up having to pull them out. That I, is the one downside to this. I think she's going to be showing this in the next one though. I think I will, yeah, be getting the upgrade. I think I just want to buy it for you because... Well, if you've watched our recent videos, you know I sat for like an hour just brushing my fucking hair. <laughs> she did. But yeah, you're right about the bristles and that's why I like this one a little bit better. That still does a great job. Yes. Wet and I, or dry hair. And I think if you have straight hair or like not very knotty hair, you'll be perfectly happy with this. But I think just because my hair has so much texture and I use so many products in it, eight and a half out of 10. I was going to say 8.5. 8.5 out of 10. The first thing that Caitlin influenced me to buy is a really great pro Actually, they're all really great. They've improved my life significantly. The first is the Tan Lux, the face. <laughs> the face. I just love that it's called the face. Illuminating self tan drops in the shade medium dark. Neither of us are medium nor dark, but Caitlin was like, trust me, just get the medium dark. And she was right. I have used this probably a dozen times, but you would not know it because you just need Mm -hmm. A few drops mixed into any serum or moisturizer. For me, I apply it at nighttime before bed. I only use it, well, like over quarantine, I didn't really use it yeah. very much. But I will say as my natural summer tan has faded, I want to hang on to that for as long as possible. So I think last week I used it twice. That's probably the most in a week I would ever use it. Two times. I, I don't know. I would say sometimes three, but that's like heavy summer yeah. Like you can't whack it on three times a week if you're going from like 
fair. Mm -hmm. um, you will look orange. That's true. Uh, but no, it's the best. It's so good. It doesn't break me out. I have tried other facial self tanners in the past that smell like yucky body self tanners mm -hmm. and break me out and clog my pores. And this does neither. It has a slight tanner smell, but I do not notice it. And it's literally sitting on my face. Yeah. I am. I've, I love that. that, that that's why. It's you, pricey. I love it. But it's worth it because I do think this will last forever. But I would try other things from them because it's great. They have a clear one that's like a hyaluronic acid one. But I, I don't feel the need to stray from this. The, okay, that I think is a huge glowing recommendation for us. Like I do not look for other face tanning products. Mm -hmm. I don't even care about trying them. I know that this one is perfect. Yeah. It does all the things I want it to do. It doesn't do any of the things I don't want it to. Exactly. <laughs> yes, get it. It's good. It's really good. Yeah. And they sell it at Ulta. So if you do have one of those 20% coupons lying around, I think you can probably apply it to that. Yeah, I think so. It's not like one of those um, forbidden brands. <gasps> Sephora sale starts. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Very uh, exciting. Uh, the next thing I have, I'm actually currently wearing for the first time this year. Ooh. Um, this is a Barefoot Dreams very long, yes, open uh, brown cardigan that I believe I found at Nordstrom Rack. But mm -hmm. the reason that I had to have it immediately is because it's from the company Barefoot Dreams, which Danielle has raved about their robes for years. Mm -hmm. And while I never have committed to a robe, when I saw this and it wasn't like over a hundred dollars, yeah. I thought I have to have it. And so now I pretty much just wear it around my house like a robe, Yeah. but it's cute enough that I can wear it out and it's so soft. It's so warm. I'm kind of I sweating agree. right now, actually. Um, but I just love it because it's Ugh. so easy to throw on. It's a wearable fucking blanket. And she said that she's had it for years and it's still just as soft as the day she bought it. That is one of my favorite things about their materials. Yes. I will say with this particular, one, I feel like I didn't wash it for a while because I was just throwing it on and like wearing it around the house. Mm -hmm. And once I washed it, it was like refreshed and even softer again. Oh, okay. And I also had spilled a shitload of wax on it at one point. Don't remember how, but it ended like up- Like candle wax? Yes. Oh no. A shitload of candle That's wax. That's hard to get out. Yes. And it was hard to get out, but it did come out and there is no, <laughs> you would never know. <gasps> Their stuff is pricey, but it's an, it's an investment and you'll wear it forever. Yes, and I will say, like, if you have a loved one or a friend that is a robe wearer mm -hmm. and you're able and, you know, you feel comfortable spending over $100 on them, that is probably the best gift is a Barefoot Dreams robe. Yeah, I've given my mother-in-law one of their, I think it's called the Dream Cardigan because I do think that the material is just so luxe and wonderful. And then one of our friends, Molly, was pregnant over the summer and she was like, hey, do you have any robe recommendations? I'm about to have a baby. And I was like, this is really expensive. I have one, Mike has one, we both love it. And she bought it and she texted me and she was like, it's the best thing I've ever put on my body. Yeah, like I, it's one of those purchases that it's expensive, but I don't think you would ever regret buying it. No regrets. I just, re it's worth, I mean, I don't want to pay that much, but yeah. it is worth the money that you have spent on it. But like Caitlin said, check Nordstrom Rack. I got my robe on Hot Look, which is an affiliate of Nordstrom Rack. And I think I paid like $70 versus $120. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, they also sell it, I think sometimes on HSN or QVC. They do. I've seen so it. So you can pay in installments and it just makes you feel a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just be on the lookout. If you pri prioritize comfy coziness... Yes. I would highly suggest a Barefoot Dreams. The next thing I have, I don't physically own it yet to show you. However, I have to buy it. I've just been waiting to use up another concealer and it's the Glossier Stretch Concealer. Every time Caitlin uses it, either on an IGTV or an Instagram Live or when we're in person filming together, I'm always like, I need to get that. I need to get that. I need mm -hmm. to get that. Because I can tell that we both have, like, I know we both have crepey under eye skin. Yes. We're at that age, you know? Uh, it like hurts and, we, and then I, I just start noticing it more and more. For sure. And it is a more like balmy, hydrating emollient. concealer. Yeah, emollient. And it always looks great on her. Estee Lalan has always also worn it for a long time and I feel like I have very similar taste to her as well. And every time Caitlin puts it on, I'm like, it makes such a difference, but it doesn't look like you've just caked concealer on. Yes. And so I want to get it and I'm going to get it. It's only $18 for a pot that's like this size. Mm -hmm. It essentially comes in the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, 
and NARS is like $35. So when I am through with my NARS potted concealer, that's the one I'm gonna buy because I've been wanting it for so long. Can't believe I've resisted. <laughs> That is willpower. It is. I am I am impressed because I did not do the same thing. I wasn't going to mention, I'm not going to like take a whole thing, but she it got me to get the NARS concealer. So I have both and I use both yeah. interchangeably. So good. The Lancome Tenty Doll mm. Ultra Wear Foundation. Why was I about to call it a concealer? Foundation. It's so good. Why? I'm wearing it today. I haven't worn it in a while. I'm not really wearing foundation during quarantine. And I've just been like reaching for other things. Mm -hmm. It's a mistake. It's so good. It is. I did mix it with uh, another foundation because it's not currently my correct shade, mm -hmm. but it mixes beautifully. But I just remember like I put it on, I sort of wiped it on my face and then I had forgotten to wet my beauty blender. So I go and I'm looking at it in the mirror in the bathroom and I started to just dab it out in my bathroom mirror, which mm -hmm. is very large. And I just was like, holy shit. Like yeah. I normally don't no like really take notice of how much how good a foundation looks mm -hmm. but this one is so markedly better than all of the other ones i own that i couldn't help it i just thought like wow your face has never looked better your face is looking great this is something that i have all over my house in my bag and in my car yes in fact when i just opened up my little dresser drawer out here in the living room there are three of these in there and they are the tweezer man dual-sided nail files emery boards if you will best nail file ever who knew i was buying nail files so much more frequently when i thought i was getting a nicer nail file because i spent more money on it and it had like multiple sides and whatever i just was tearing them to shreds and then caitlin was like we have to get these. I buy them like for my mom and my sister, right? Don't you? Or your mom at least? Um, I think I made my mom buy them. Made your mom buy them. And so I was like, well, first of all, they're beautiful and they're nice and bright. And I really like that. And they're dual sided. So one side has like a more fine grit and the other side has a more harsh grit. And she's right. They're the best nail files. They last so much longer than any other nail file I've ever used. I don't know why or how. I don't either. I don't think I've thrown one away. I've certainly bought multiple packs, but I don't think I've thrown any away. Same. Why? Like my, I feel like with other nail files that I have, they immediately just become like paper. They're just paper. It's, and I don't cut my nails. I only file them. Same. So yeah, I have them hidden all over my house and they're the, they really are the best. I don't know how to explain it. I Me couldn't either. tell you what makes them different, but they last forever. I think I have one of these that predates me moving to Baltimore. Wow. Which it means it's over six years old. I file all the time. Me too. And it's, no, I couldn't even tell you which one is the oldest one, but I've right. never thrown the one away. They're great. They're really great. I will say if you throw them in your purse, like I do, make sure your glasses are in a pouch because it will scratch them to shit. Yes. <laughs> I would say, I would, FYI. I would say if you can find another nail file that's sold in a sleeve, Oh, true. buy one of those and then like put it in a sleeve. It needs something because it is like the one side is pretty intense, pretty harsh. I rarely use that side. Same. I use the fine I side the more fine often side. than not. But it does like it does what you need it to do. I could have jag like a jagged hangnail and the fine side with very few strokes, we'll smooth it out and make it look beautiful and new. I love them. Like, Thank who you, thought, Who Kayla? thought you could have a whole conversation about nail files? That's and honestly, they are. I am done with nail salons. Like, I just want to paint my own fingernails because I've gotten really good at it. And so I like the way I file better anyways. Okay. I, mean, I, so I should be paying myself. So there. I am so not take that out of the nail salon yet. I would love a pedicure. I require a little extra oomph to purchase the expensive thing. Like I won't see the expensive thing and think, okay, I'm just going to go buy that because I want it. I need someone else to tell me, no, it's great. Trust your gut. Spend the who knows how much money. Just do it. 80 plus dollars. Oh, that's this. I don't remember it being that expensive. Uh, so I nearly had a fucking meltdown over this. I not, I actually just remembered she did as I was sitting here that I almost lost it over the hourglass ambient lighting edit ghost unlocked palette. I almost lost it. I, I did. Almost oh, lose I did. I think, well, I didn't fully lose it, but I got really close. So Danielle had gotten this palette the previous year uh -huh. and it was 
magical. Perfect. It is magical. It's the per it was the perfect palette. It was the perfect palette. And so the following year, I was like, I have to get it. I have waited. I have to get it. I what? just, I know that it will be wonderful and I have to get it. So, I don't remember, was it the Sephora sale? Yes. It launched like the same day as the Sephora sale. And I was like, I need the 20% off. I won't buy it without the 20% off. And you had it in your cart. And I had it in my cart. And then when I went to purchase it, it went away. Gone, sold out sold out and it was like the one thing I wanted I had been waiting I had like I knew that I had to go in in the morning and purchase it mm -hmm. and it was already gone yep I was at work I was at work I spent a whole day trying to like because they were also selling it on their website not for a discount and there was like other stuff I can't remember I think I kept being able to add it to my cart but then not actually purchase it and there were people saying that it was an error and there still was stock and that it was it was a whole thing. And I have never, I don't think I've ever like freaked out over something. I feel like this was how people like wait in line for tickets for yes. stuff or releases of things. You were hot for it. I was hot for Hourglass. And I ended up getting it on their website. I don't remember, I was so relieved. It was as if I had saved a life. Have you seen the new one? No. It's, I want it maybe during the sale. Whew. But anyway, I, like I, it is dumb expensive. It's dumb expensive. But they're beautiful. But they're beautiful and well freaking loved. So I definitely have, I've hit pan on the bronzer, which I didn't even realize. Mm -hmm. So I use that the most, pardon me. I use that the most often, but I also use every other shade. I think the one that I reach for the least is actually the highlight mm -hmm. because there are other highlights I like better, but it's still a beautiful highlight. Can you see it? It's what I'm wearing today. I can't oh, that tell is if, pretty. I can't tell if you can see it. But some, Subtle. Well, sometimes I think it's a little too glittery. It's very light. It's a very light highlighter. Yeah. So I, there are just ones that I feel like I can wear more, more often because mm -hmm. they're a little bit more natural. Do you need anything else about that? Oh, no. Yeah. If you want it. Well, you can't because it's a sold out, but try the new one. Yeah. They have, oh, let's look at it real quick. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Caitlin has to act like she doesn't see what I am about to show you because she likes to try to tell you that her favorite candle of all time is Woodfire by Loom, but I have to remind her, you know, it's not, it's Reindeer by Simpatico because she's talked about it since I've known her. Uh-huh. Swear to God. Yeah. I have had hobnail candles from Simpatico in the past and I've really enjoyed them. I have never though in person found the Reindeer candle, which looks like this. It looks like a, they have other candles that are red. So like, don't just think if you find the red hobnail, it's reindeer. No, it has like a special reindeer stamp here. It's called reindeer. So Caitlin used to work at a store called Sweet Elizabeth Jane. That's where you found it. Yes, this. in Ellicott City. Correct. Uh -huh. um, and she has been talking about it for so many years. Mm -hmm. And every time we look for it in local stores, it's never there. Every time we look online, it's like crazy shipping because it's a very heavy weighted glass candle. Yeah. It's not as common as like a Yankee candle. So they're kind of difficult to find. They're a boutique candle for sure. Yes. And so I found them. And this year was the year that I was like, I've been keeping a fucking note list in my phone about Caitlin's Christmas and birthday gifts. And this has been on there for a really long time. And last week, early in the week, I found them on Candles Off Main. Uh -huh. And I had a coupon code, so I got 15% off oh, nice. and I got free shipping. Oh, oh, yes. So I bought two. I got one for myself and one for her, but she's got, she can't act like she knows. Yeah. It's fictitious. Um, but okay. We haven't even told you what it is. It's a, this is a Christmas candle. Christmas scents, fall scents are my favorite of all time. And mm -hmm. so every time she talked about it, she was like, you have to understand it's the best Christmas candle in the world. It's like, it has all the notes that we like, like woody, evergreen, pine, but it's softer and there's a touch of sweetness. Right. Actually, I don't know what that is. So I will say today, today when I smelled it, I, it's not as holiday exclusive as I remember yeah, it. I could start burning it now. Yes. But it, it has that sort of frosted cranberry note, yes. but it is a minor note because I've bought frosted cranberry from Bath and Body Works. Yeah. But then they add in that warm wool, embers, sweaters. Yeah. Like it's a warmth. 
It's almost got a little bit softer of a note than sweater weather mixed in with that like frosted cranberry. I can't, I know it's gonna be lovely. It says that it burns for up to a hundred hours. <sighs> I will say, hobnail, these Simpatico candles are lovely. My aunt used to always have one that was like um, in a brown glass and it was called something tea. Pardon me. And I loved that. I oh, loved yeah. loved that candle. Oh, I'm trying to remember what that one is because we used to sell it. So, and I, I will say they're great uh, for people that own stores because they're really, really beautiful and all of the jars are like jewel tones. And so reusable. It even says on the thing, like this is a handmade glass, please reuse the jar. Yes, I have multiple of these and my mom does like around our houses that yeah. keep like pens and makeup brushes and yep. like stuff like that because they really do, they're a great, they're yep. really cute. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'm excited for her to have it again, but I'm also excited for me to have it finally. And I will say, if you are local, one thing I found out is that can off, Candles Off Main is from an, is in Annapolis. Yep. I had no idea. I've gone to that website many a time looking for this candle. They do sidewalk sales. Um, so they're in Annapolis. And then also uh, Poppy and Stella in yeah. Baltimore. I w I Not knowing that Danielle... Oh, well, we should not, have told this story. Not yeah. remembering that Danielle had... I gave her a subtle hint. Hint. Uh, that they, that I had one coming to me, I e I DM'd like six different stores around Baltimore that are listed on the website as saying that they carried. This I line. saw you sending each one, and after the second one, I was like, "Stop! Like, what are you doing? Stop texting all these people!" <laughs> but. Um, so while a couple did, like multiple people responded back and said they weren't carrying it, Poppy yeah. and Stella in Baltimore, um, said, it's funny that you mention it. I needed a holiday candle. I ordered some. Perfect. So she will have them. She'll be carrying them if you live locally and you want to buy one, or if you don't and you want to try and order one from her, you could do that too. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so you could go, you could go downtown and get a little snifferoo. Mm hmm It's lovely. It's a lovely candle. I haven't even burned it, but I know it's going to be great. I hope Kelly loves it because otherwise I'm going to be really embarrassed. I don't, here's the thing. I can't think of anyone who wouldn't like this. I don't know. It's scents a, are so it's personal. It's a pleasing scent though. Yeah. It's not, it's not too much of any one thing. Right. Balance. I, that's the thing is like, yes, you it's can pick out too. notes, but really it's so all one smell. Uh -huh. You barely can. Yeah. It's great. Uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. I know. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if you know, but Danielle really loves the Kiehl's Butter Mask for Lips. That's all I use. She's a big fan of it. Huge. Well, so what am I supposed to do but go out and buy it and have the experience that she has? It, so I went out and purchased the Kiehl's Butter Mask for Lips. It is an overnight lip treatment with, I wish it tasted like with butter. coconut oil and wild mango butter. I know. I will say I wish it had more mango to it. There's no scent. There's, well, to me, it almost smells like um, cocoa butter. It smells like a chocolate marshmallow egg for Easter. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. That's not a real smell. I never notice it though when I'm applying it. No, you don't. But it is a really wonderful thick, thick two C's. <laughs> Actually, that one's got a K on there at the end too, because it is truly thick. It really is like a butter. When they call it a butter mask, they're not joking. Mm -hmm. um, I will say I don't use this one exclusively. I do have a couple other nighttime lip products that I like to cycle through because mm -hmm. I don't want my lips to ever grow adjusted to just one thing. You've always been that way. Isn't that weird? But no. It, but but it's, I think multiple people do it. Because it's happened to me in the past with Carmex and with Burt's Bees. Mm -hmm. Big fan of this. I like it a lot. I would I would repurchase. I will. I would too. I have multiple times. Yeah, this is my first and only at this point, but there will be a second one in my life. Ugh. I did want to mention that another candle I was influenced to buy from Caitlin that I have been burning is the Sandalwood and Smoke Crackling Woodwick by Threshold at Target. It's $16.99. It's beautiful, smelling, straight up freaking campfire. Yeah. Candle that I, I really do love. It's burning quicker than I it thought it would, but I don't even care. It's well, wonderful. It, it smells like wood fire. I'm about to light it again. It smells like a loom wood fire. It does. That's why. It does. Oh my God, I didn't even realize that. Mm-hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta buy another one. Yep. And, hello, Woodwicks. And I, yeah, crackle, I love crackle. it. It was funny, I didn't realize um, Letitia, my roommate, loves a crackling candle. I don't yeah. think she's, I don't think she's They're ever had favorite. one, but she mentioned, she was like, ooh, is it the kind that smells like a fire? And I was like, yes, it is. And every time Mike walks by, he's like, oh, it's raining. I'm like, it's not raining. Like, it's so unnecessary. I don't it require it of a it. candle, but it does add to my experience. 
we have an electric fireplace so it doesn't make the noise and so when I keep it downstairs and the fireplace is on it's as if I'm in front of a real fire. Oh, smart. I know. You just gotta trick yourself into thinking that you're somewhere nicer than you really are. That's exactly right, totally. Okay, one time, many years ago, we filmed a Costco favorites video. I think yeah. this was in that. No, Amazon. It, it, was, it was Amazon. A, it was like our first Amazon favorites video, and Caitlin brought over all of her Rubbermaid Tupperware containers from big to baby. I was not that uh, ambitious today. These Rubbermaid containers, the food storage containers, are perfection. They're so wonderful, mm -hmm. such great quality. They're reasonably affordable. They like they really snap. I am a soup eater, like for work when I was going into work all the time. I eat soup multiple times a week. And I would put soup in here and it would never leak. And I am mm -hmm. like a crazy person with my bag. Uh, it has a very well-fitting suctioned lid that has these two little clasps here that when you open them, they expose a vent hole on each side so you can microwave it like this. You don't have to ever worry about it splattering in your microwave like red sauce. Mm -hmm. um, clamp it down to lock it. There is no way that anything is escaping this. Yeah. They microwave well, you can freeze in them. I really love them. I yeah. really love them. I bought I bought the full set and then I bought like one-offs of the sizes that I think I really like. Like this size for me is perfect for when I when I was packing a lunch to go to work. Like I could put sides in here. I could put my dressing in this little one. The, it's great. The ability to take a dressing in a Tupperware yes. is unparalleled. This like is cloudy. Like all the oily based dressings. I have, I eat salads all the time. I take mm -hmm. a lot of dressings. Well, this is the only type of I've ever had that truly does not leak. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know what it is about that oil that just like slips right well, out of a Tupperware. A, it finds a hole. I have had a, con a sealed container of blueberries in one of these for weeks. Wow. And, and they are not good. moldy. Wow. That's weird. Isn't that weird? I didn't think it was possible. And I yeah. also keep, I like, Thought maybe that like maybe just the outer ones looked fine, but if I like moved it around, the ones in the center would actually be like a giant clump of mold. Rancid. But no, I haven't dared eat one yet because I'm a little bit nervous. I would be too. But they look perfectly fine. I, th I have to do it because I either have to eat them or throw them away. So try one. But I'm pretty sure I've had blueberries in there for like three weeks. That's amazing. That is like comparable to the food saver. vacuum saver Tupperwares. Yeah. Like that, I just think that that's crazy. It's a berry. It's that a is berry. crazy. That is crazy. And I will say, I have frozen meat sauce in here before, like a bolognese, and I will say there's a little bit of staining, but nothing compared to like those really awful thin plastic Gladware, oh, yeah. Rubbermaid, whatevers that aren't this. Like this line is just better. Yeah. This line is just better. None of mine are permanently stained. No. They're great. I love them. 10 out of 10. 10 out, it is a 10 out of 10. They're wonderful. That's the thing. All of these products. Except yeah. the wet brush are like freaking amazing because yep. I wouldn't share them with you if you weren't if they weren't true. Oh, the last one, like and again, it might be the best. Can't say enough good things about it. No, is the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Lotion Sunscreen. It says feels as if it's barely on, true. and they are one hundred percent correct. This sunscreen goes on like it's a lotion. It smells good. It smells like sunscreen. But it also smells like coconut. It smells like a pina colada. Yeah, it's got like a very beachy scent mm. to it, but it's not scented, although it is. And doesn't smell really, really fake. Correct. It doesn't smell like tanning lotion, which no. is one of our least favorite things. But it has these ribbons that run through it. it um, so it mixes sunscreen and lotion, mm -hmm. although I think that's... I think it's all the same formula it's just dyed differently probably um it does come in 30 50 it might come in 15 it does um it i just it's wonderful it's wonderful i put it on and i feel like i'm not wearing sunscreen i do still shower at the end of whenever i am so to rinse it off because i don't want it to sit on my skin mm -hmm. but if i didn't i wouldn't feel like a gross i don't know sunscreeny grease ball um i i i love it 
And you don't really, like, I don't get a sunburn if I am applying this properly. Correct. And I feel like I'm more likely to put this on properly and reapply it mm -hmm. because it's not an unpleasant experience. Yep. I just feel, it's not one of those ones where if, like, you have it left on your hands, you, like, have to wipe it on your towel. You just sort of, like, rub it in and it goes away and you don't, like, it's not an oil slick. It, it won't stain, I don't think. Yeah, I just love it. I will say the only downside is that it is a little bit hard to find. Mm -hmm. I think it's gotten progressively harder since we've started using it. You think so? Probably because we keep telling everybody about it and then everybody goes out and buys it. OMG, you might be so right. No, I do just feel like it's. I just don't see it as many places. Mm -hmm. um, but when I do, I buy it. I don't care where it is. Like the that one Rite Aid trip or CVS where I was in it, I bought multiple of them because yep. it was there and I was like, oh, gotta get it while I can get it. Gotta get it while it's hot. Yes, and it is hot, it people. Is it is hot, hot, hot. Yeah. The only thing is I never use it on my face. No. Yeah. They no. make a face version, but I don't use it. Neither do I. I feel like this is a video we can film as a series because yes. we're constantly being influenced by each other. But I think it's all going to be stuff that they've already seen because Probably. it's usually when we're right here that it happens. Where I'm like, oh, I need that. Like I already- I'm going to get that right now. Like, I need this. Okay. What's okay. on your mouth? What's on my mouth? I applied uh, the Maybelline Superstay Lip Crayon in the shade. Like how do oh, I not own one of these? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's number 10. It's called Trust Your Gut. It's a really- perfect brownie nude. I will say I don't love the way they smell. Oh. Like yeah. Plasticky. Yes. But once it's on my mouth, I never notice it. But just like when I bring it out of the tube, I'm like, Ugh, why does it smell like that? Huh. Um, yeah, kind of plastic, but like faux. Like a Barbie doll faux head? Faux sweet. Yes. But also like vanilla. Yes. Like vanilla Barbie head. <laughs> <laughs> it does. I'm only going to be able to think that of That makes me think of what we were doing. Band-Aids. Tongue depressors. <laughs> Smells like tongue depressor. Um, so I did this and then I topped it with a little bit of the Lano Lips Tinted Balm in the shade Perfect Nude. I've been loving this. I'm wearing it all the time. Yeah. Love it's it. It's like it. your new Clarence Lip Perfector. Yes. It's very similar, uh -huh. but way glossier. Glossy gloss. It's thick. I am wearing a new product for me and it's by the Lip Bar, which I found at Target. And this is their lip gloss in the shade Bourgeois. It is a very bourgeois. Yes. Bourgeois. 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 <laughs> it is a very opaque formula. It's essentially a liquid, a non long wearing liquid lipstick. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. However, I've got to say, this wand feels both very flimsy and too long to make application as precise as I would like. And well, I will say, even when you were just doing it on your hand, I could see it bend a lot. Right? Like, ah, no, that's too hard. And I will say, like, I need there to be less give when I'm doing around my cupid's bow and stuff. Right, yeah. Because I feel like it will be very easy to be like, whoops. Um, but I do really love it because it is a wonderful, deep, like, mauvey nude that I know is perfect for this time of year. Um, mm. and I really liked the packaging. It had like this fun caged lid, which I've never really seen before. Yeah. My only thing is I just wish the wand were more, less flimsy and shorter. Yeah. So a little bit more substantial. Yeah. But mm. it's, um, it's beautiful. It feels great. It's not sticky. Okay. Yeah. 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 So that's it. Uh, although we want, just want to throw it in there. If you've made it to the end, we know you're really serious and we hope that you're also really serious about philanthropy. Yeah. And Doing arthritis. Good. And raising money. Yeah. For a good cause. So with all of your additional extra money, because I know you guys are all money bags. <gasps> no. Uh, um, no, not really, and neither are we. But we yeah. are very happy and proud to be pairing with the Arthritis Foundation uh, for this year's Jingle Bell Run, raising money for arthritis and arthritis research. You can either donate money to the fund by visiting the link below. You can also sign up to be on the Art Time of the Month team. Hello, why wouldn't you wanna do that? And on the weekend of December 11th, 11th through the 13th, 2020, we will be walking a 5K in support of the Arthritis Foundation. And you can do it from anywhere. You can do it anytime during that weekend. You'll get a medal if you complete it. You'll get a t-shirt and you'll know that you did something good. 
Yes, and so we very much appreciate anything that you are willing or able to do, whether it's making a donation, donated. joining the team and fundraising, yeah. or actually doing the walk with us. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, we have multiple loved ones that have been affected by arthritis. Yes. I have a feeling both of us will be... <laughs> <laughs> right, it's already been predicted. Victims. Uh, yes, I think we've both been told that we have early signs of arthritis <laughs> yeah. in varying parts of our bodies. Great um, and it is the number one source of disability claims in the United States. Uh, it affects tons and tons of people, and mm -hmm. we are just hoping to make a tiny little drop in the bucket. 21% of adults in Maryland have it. Isn't that insane? Yeah, it's one in five. It's actually not insane. Not quite, but... But, right, exactly. No, it is one in five. Oh yeah, I'm thinking one in four, 25%. Yeah. One in five people, that's yeah. unfortunate. So yes, links down there, 100% of the proceeds go to the Arthritis Foundation. We're not making a dime off this, nor would we want to. No. Send me straight to hell, honestly. Right, that would be so sketchy. <laughs> Profit. We're raising money for something, but we're pocketing. Yeah, actually, you can just Venmo us your donations. What, what have we influenced you to buy? Oh, okay, I like that one. Yeah, what's something, what's a product that we influenced you to buy? Ooh, bonus points if you hated it. Someone said they didn't like the Mio Liquid Yoga, so oh. that, that could be your, that could be your thing. Sad. It is, uh, that's kind of expensive to not like it. It is. <laughs> but anyway, so we hope that you love it, but if you don't, I will laugh so hard if you tell. And like, really give it a rip roar review. Really be like, this is a piece of <laughs> really shit. Really tear into it. <laughs> yes. And I will say this, Caitlin and I have never accepted money for a positive review, nor will we ever. We no. are talking about things because we genuinely enjoy them or don't, and we are very upfront about that. Yes. So just know that everything that we're saying is coming from a very honest place in our hearts. And I just, I don't have it in me to lie to you or to anyone actually. No, I really just don't see the point. And like we clarify we, with each and every company that we receive products for or reach out to us to oh. offer to send us things that we do not exchange reviews, positive reviews for product. We just don't do it. We tell them that we are happy to feature it if we genuinely like yep. it. Um, but, and so some, sometimes people won't send us stuff because we won't do that. But a lot That's of people fine. I think are realizing the benefit of having like truly honest reviews. Right. That has always been our policy. It will forever be our policy. Okay, but that's it. So we just needed to tell you that. Just a reminder, um, because I, I, I think the internet is so disingenuous that it's very yeah. hard for people to believe that we don't uh, lie? <laughs> well, and it's saturated with people who will absolutely lie. 100%, absolutely. There are people that like don't even do this for a job and they still <laughs> post about bullshit and like, lie. We're never, po we're never gonna partner with someone who's like flat tummy tea. It ain't happening. I don't care how much you wanna pay me. I can't do it in my conscience. Yeah. No, it's just a no for me, dog. Yes. Comment, like, and subscribe. And watch that last video we And made. then watch that next video. And then watch all future videos. Just all of them. Oh yeah, what do you wanna do now? Do you wanna... <gasps> Cut it! Bye. Bye.